Okay, I've put the K7000 back in the bad dudes now. Let's see here. Here we are. And uh, I'll check it out. Hopefully it's a decent view of it. Right now, there the picture comes up. It's pretty good. I just want to show you something I'm noticing. There's actually a little bit of a problem. So I can kick. So you have a basically an attack button which is the red and the jump is the other one. But he can move down, but he can't move backwards, so that's something with the joysticks. And Alright, so it's just that the, uh, let me see if I can get a better shot of this, so the, here's the joysticks here, so the leaf, for whatever reason, the, the leaf switch is not really hitting it back to go backwards, and then, um, same problem on player two. Certainly player one is not. Here's player two. Uh, player two is worse. So at least player one can go forward, but player two is not moving at all on the joystick. And it's, yeah, it's, all it is is the, uh, these leaf switches need to be adjusted. So I'm gonna take, actually I'm gonna take all these off and clean them. See if I can move this a little bit. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna turn the game off. <clears throat> this is one of the, take these joysticks off. I think I might label the colors or something and then, um, and then tighten them up because when I move, not, it's not registered, but when I push with my finger, then it does. So they're just a little bit too spaced out, and you can clean them. I know you can clean them by putting like a business card in between and swiping them. So I'm gonna, I want to clean the buttons anyway. So I'm gonna take all the buttons off, scrub them up really good, some soapy water, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of these joysticks too. See if I can't get these joysticks. The game works, but the joysticks aren't registering. And I'd rather, I mean. I think these joysticks should work. So let me let me do that. Let me pull them out here. Okay, now I've got the um, the buttons off and the joysticks off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean this really well. It's really kind of dirty, so I'm going to clean this uh, with a little magic eraser and um, just like simple green kind of cleaner dry it really well and then uh, then I'm going to tackle these buttons so I've got a, a pile of buttons here that, um, that I need to take apart and clean and scrub they're really kind of dirty and then I'll take a look at these joysticks and see if I can't get them to be I think I think the problem mostly is uh, one they need to be clean contacts need to be clean which I was reading you just do that with paper in between and you kind of push down and pull the paper through it and the other is you can see these are kind of far apart. They really need to be 
close. They need to be close to each other. And I think so they just need to be pinched in a little bit. On. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do that off camera. I think the other thing I'm probably going to do is on these joysticks. There's, uh, there's a bit of rust on some of them. I'm going to sand them and then, uh, and get them really smooth. Sand them and really get them, get them quite smooth. I don't know if I'll clear coat it after I sand it, maybe. But I'm definitely going to sand it and get it smooth. So let me just uh, pause here and go clean up these buttons so they can start drying. Okay, I just wanted to show this. These are, these are I guess, are maybe cheaper buttons. Um, so you see that slides through there and it's just really, there's no like C-clip on them. And so the, the big thing here is the fat part of the spring goes down like that. And then it goes through it. So I'm taking all these apart so I can scrub them really good. I'm just going to put them in this pile. I did want to just show how filthy these are. So they totally need to be cleaned. Oh my god, they're not they're not easy to get apart. Okay, I wanted to show you the difference. So this is like a I want to say proper, but a, like a nice leaf switch button that has like a little C clamp on it. These things are easy to take apart and clean. Okay, that's what that is. Now what's on this stupid cab are these, which just have a little notch in them. And then you basically either have to push and twist to pop them out, or you can do what I'm doing here, which is like push down on something hard and really bear your weight down on the outside edges, and that works. But that worked for almost all of them, except I had like two or three that didn't. So here's what I do for the two or three that didn't. Um, put some sandpaper. This is like 100 grit. I just push that out, and I just... Just very um, minimal, but just a couple of there we go. A couple of turns there, just to take a little because you don't want to take you take off too much. It's just a horrible design. It was never meant to be actually cleaned, right? But that's all right. That's what they always on there. I'm not gonna buy a bunch of brand new, I could, I mean I may if I break it, but uh, oh, there, wow, that was a pain in the butt. Okay, I, uh, I've got these scrubbed up really good, um, and then I'm just letting them all dry out, I've cleaned them you know, just kind of scrubbed them up, kind of dried them out. I'm just going to let them dry here on the table a little bit. And then I'm going to tackle the uh, the joysticks next. So I'm going to hit this with some sandpaper really good, get it sanded down. I'll, put the, I'll, I'll do what I normally do, which is put the drill, put this end in the drill, and then just sand that with a little rough sandpaper. Then I'll come back and... Uh, Maybe hit it with a little clear coat. So I think I may let, I don't know, I may let these dry overnight and then tackle them tomorrow. Kind of let them dry out really, really good before I, before I tackle them because I'm starting to lose a little daylight. But I think I may hit the, like I said, the joysticks real quick. All right, so I'm going to try to knock some of that rust off. Look a ton better. All right. I'm just gonna wow, that took a lot of rust off of there. I'm gonna wipe these down, hit them with a real shot of clear coat. The ball joints themselves are a little beat. I don't really have any polish to polish these right now. 
but uh, that's okay. I can polish them later. But it wouldn't be bad to polish those up, I think. Alright guys, so even after I rebuilt these um, these joysticks, I took them apart, cleaned them, rebuilt them, put them back on. They're just they're just they're just too worn out. And so when I go to, to put install one back in and went to play and it just wouldn't it just wouldn't play right, it wouldn't center right. So what I did was I ended up um, I just put some new HAP competitions in it. And I'm in the middle of doing that now, so I thought I would show that. So um, basically I'm just leaving the game running. Let's look. So I've got. I'm gonna put these half competitions. They're blue on the left and red on the right, with the uh, washer in place underneath it, underneath the control panel. It looks. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, um, the leaf switches. I've been able to put those back in so far, and they seem to be pretty good. And so I just connect up the grounds, and I'm just doing player one right now. Um, so I connect up the grounds and then I just touch the signal wire to the ground and say, okay, where is it supposed to go? And I just map it that way. Um, and I'm going through it. So far, so good. I've got the, uh, the, the player one where uh, the joystick is working and then the, I'll show you that way. The joystick, so I can bring him in and the joystick works pretty good. You know, up, down, left, right and playing and all that. So I'm going to finish up on the uh, controls and you know just update the joysticks those eight-way competitions are really good and these beat-ups I think they just take a lot of abuse the joysticks people just pull them to death so these these should take a bit of abuse for a while so I'm gonna finish wiring this up and then and, and then zip it up and see where we're at okay we're making progress with this bad dude so I've done, redone the control panel the game plays really good right now so that's good uh, I need to swap out the locks on the coin door, wipe it down. That's minor stuff. The back door, because this thing has seen some water, so the back door is kind of flaking pretty bad. So I'm going to pop that off, sand it. I'm just going to sand the back. The top, I'm going to sand. It's pretty bad up there. And then I'm also going to, uh, I'm going to take these uh, brackets off sand them, hit them with some black spray paint to make it pop a little bit um, and then check out the marquee because the marquee, the bulb is not coming on. I'm not sure what's up with that. I am really, I'm pretty happy with this. I may swap these black, this is like player one start and player two start but it's not obvious and doesn't really tell you anywhere so I may um, swap those out for just some hap micro switches that say player one start and player two start I mean I've got them so I may do that I mean these are still the least switches which feel really nice they do feel nice I mean I do like that and these I changed out they're they're much better I mean they, they, they center really nice they're brand new competitions they'll hold up uh, but that's not obvious so I may player one start player two start I'll probably do that and then just clean it up really good but uh so first uh First, I think I probably want to um, take the take the the brackets off the marquee up here, so I can so I can sand the whole top of it and the back door and everything. So I think I'm gonna take the brackets off, and that marquee I know is a little bit uh, cracked, so I just gotta be careful with that. It has this hairline crack, which I didn't notice when I bought it right across there. Um, but it's original, and you really, eh. Not that noticeable, to be honest. I may end up getting another one, but we'll see. For now, this is going to do. Okay, so we put a coat of paint on the back door and uh, the bottom down here. I'm going to let it, while that's drying, I want to replace this. Because this was really short and we kind of did that um, as a temporary little fix to it. So what we did is I, went, I ran out to Walmart and I got myself a, a 10 foot extension cord, which should be more than enough. I've, I've used a six foot before and sometimes it's just not long enough so I like the ten foot. So you just snip off the end to it. Should be fine. I mean this is pretty, I mean, may go through this really quick. So I'm gonna, this is this cool little plate here that actually just kind of slides down in. So I've got that and the little um, thing to hold it tight. 
So this is the new extension cord. I'm just going to feed it through that for now. So it'll be up like this. on there so there's one two three all right so those are on the inside that'll be good That goes there, kind of stick it up on there, and then push it down. And then let me get a pair of pliers here and really squeeze it so I can get it through there. Alright, when that's on there, then you kind of just pinch it in, push it in. There, you kind of hear it click. So that will keep it from pulling out. And you slide that in, that gives us a, a lot longer cord. Now on the inside, I'm going to... You know, it's not going to go anywhere, but I'm still going to uh, put some black tape around this. And then, uh, and then just kind of maybe put a little zip tie or something and screw that to the to the side, yeah, somewhere like this, just so it's, if I can get it out of the way, yeah, something like that. So anyway, I just want to show that that's extended the cord, because that was uh, one of the problems we had in the beginning, so that's, that's a lot better than what it was. Okay, the bad dude is done. I, uh, let's just take a back, step back and look at it, it's pretty nice show you some of the things I've done to it. Um, cleaned it. In the beginning I fixed this corner down here with some wood hardeners, some nice leg levelers. It's got new locks obviously. Um, it needed a, uh, uh, the, the, a cap kit and um, a lot more than that. A new flyback and other things if you remember. So I fixed the monitor, the K7000. I redid the whole uh, control panel on this thing. Um, took out all the leaf switches apart, cleaned them. I ended up putting um, new HAP competitions in here, which are really nice. They, uh, they've, got a, they, they've got a nice spring there to them. Um, and even though these, um, the black leaf switches here, buttons, which were fine, it wasn't really like obvious that, oh yeah, this is player one and that's player two, so I just, I just put some of those player one, player two buttons in there, um, cleaned it up. The marquee looks really good, <laughs> lit. I put some new LEDs in there. Um, it actually has two bulbs, one on each side. I don't know if I showed that, but there is a little bit of a crack right here. So I mean, although this is plexi and it's on the, I don't know. Eventually, I may get another one of these, but um, for now, I'm going to leave it alone. I mean, you know, that's just a thing of battle. But man, it looks sharp. It looks so nice backlit. It really does. Um, I did take these brackets off and. Uh, kind of wipe them down and lightly sand them and hit them with some spray paint to just make them pop. And um, this side actually has the Data E sticker on it, which looks good. I put a new plug on it, so if there's a 10 foot extension cord plug on it now. I showed that. Um, sanded and painted the back as well as the, the top, and you can see up here that's all sanded and painted. So um, this thing's looking 
pretty good. I mean, about as good as it's going to get, I think. I mean, honestly, I'm not in love with that color on the side, but that's that's what it was. I was thinking maybe it would look better blue or something, but I'm I'm actually going to leave it as it is. I mean, I've got I think I had like a hundred into it, and then I dropped I don't know maybe forty or more in parts on that monitor, but it looks great now. And then a couple new joysticks and two new buttons, which is not much actually. And uh, anyway, I was going to show you some of the cool things I learned um, while messing around with it, mapping the joysticks and everything. So let me uh, let me put this tripod somewhere you can see see to get a little bit of gameplay on it. Okay, before I start there, I'll just show you that the I really dig the uh, the bezel here. And it tells you the story of it, which is, I think, hilarious. It's, you know, a, a violent ninja gang has kidnapped the president. And you are the long-awaited hero who can defeat the gang members one by one and rescue the president from the grasp of the dragon ninja. So it's eight-way joysticks. You've got the attack and punch buttons. And then over here, it also gives you other instructions. Move up or down. Um, with the joystick and then you can also pick up items so if you want to pick them up move the joystick down and press the attack button which is um, the red buttons are the attack buttons and it tells you that there but there are some other cool moves that you can do that I found out I was just going to show you that which are pretty cool I think let's see if this I don't know how well that's going to show up but let's see President Ron has been kidnapped by the ninjas. Are you a bad enough dude to rescue Ronnie? And I love the music, it's really awesome. So one of the cool moves that you can do is if you hit both the uh, attack and the jump at the same time, you'll, you'll jump. The other thing you can do is you can do like an elbow. So, I don't know if you see that. So if you're facing one direction, if you move the joystick the other direction and push the attack button at the same time, Let's see. There you go. You can see that elbow move, which is really cool. The other thing you can do, obviously you can duck. If you hold the attack button, you build up your chi, and then you release it, and you can hit multiple enemies, which is pretty awesome. I think that's pretty funny. Boom, right? Um, so the attack's either going to be a kick or a punch, just depending. If you push up an attack, you get the up punch. Down on attack, you get the low punch, right? Now, if you hit the down button and then both the attack and the jump at the same time, you get this really cool kick where you're, you're kind of like handstanding and giving them a kick, which is like really awesome, I think. Those little uh, morning stars to drop. And there he drops some nunchucks. You can go down and push the attack button. He says, Got it. So now you've got the nunchucks. I mean, this game is awesome. This is, I'm really, I'm like super digging this game. And you can do these little cool ninja moves. Uh, jumping and moving, it's jumping, hitting both of those buttons at the same time. You can kind of so if you're facing one direction, you hit jump and attack, and then you hit the joystick the other direction. You do this really cool, like kind of swinging round kick, and then if you. I'll break this into a, into a let's play. <laughs> I don't think it'll be the same, but anyway, I want to. I'm already so close to the end of, uh, of the first level. All right, here's the. Uh, I think it's Carnot. The... Oh, 
Oh no. Oh. kick. I love that. He's like, I'm bad at the end of the level and then you go to the next stage. I think there's seven stages here. I'm not gonna, uh, eventually I'm going to, to do a playthrough video of the whole thing. But this is just hilarious. So anyway, um, I'm, this is one of my favorite camps and I really, uh, I really dig it. Um, I like the music. I like, I kind of like, I mean, I can see where this would be kind of maybe repetitive or something. But I like the gameplay. I dig that music a lot, and the, you know, the art on this thing is cool, like I said. Anyway, that's Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja, um, and that, that's going to wrap up this video. There we go. Nice.